Hey guys, so today we're going to be trying out different TikTok nail hacks and designs. I've gathered up all of the ones I've been tagged in a bunch recently to try out today. I don't really have much to blab about today, so let's just get into the first hack. So for this first one, I'm not sure if this person put this out there as like a hack necessarily. I think it's more so they're just showing the way that they do it, but it's very interesting nonetheless. It is this video right here and they do their acrylic with this teeny tiny little brush. It looks like an acrylic brush that's been like cut down to just a sliver, almost like a paintbrush. And it looks like it works for them does it take forever? I don't know. I feel like it kind of seems like it would for a long nail. Maybe a short one, not too bad. It does look like the acrylic sets down pretty quickly with such small amounts, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. Does it work well? Is it easier? Does it take forever? Let's find out. So I feel like I keep everything. So I do have an old crusty acrylic brush. I can cut up. Look at this. It like cracked and the liquid inside like dried up. Technically the brush is usable, but it's a little frayed and stuff. So we will cut this one up to make our teeny tiny sliver acrylic brush. So I have looked at that video and it almost looks like they cut like around and not like to one side. So I feel like this feels really wrong, but I'm just gonna kind of start, ooh, going at it. Definitely never pictured giving my acrylic brush a haircut like this. I feel like it's working though. Definitely a little thick up here. Might have to find a way to trim that part down a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna be finding all of these like little teeny tiny hairs poking me later. It already feels so small, but I gotta keep going. Look at how small. Okay, let's, probably only a couple more layers. Okay, I think I need to still go smaller. All right, here we are. Oh, I feel like theirs is thinner though, but maybe because theirs is wet. I don't know. Okay, here we have it. Our teeny tiny little acrylic brush. So small. And you know what? I'm feeling slightly unhinged today. So I'm gonna save this and we can reincorporate it in our nail. Okay, I'm gonna use these tips. I showed these, I don't remember one, recently. And I love them. They look so good. They're like the perfect shape. I'm gonna cut these down today a little bit to make a coffin, but just, I don't know, I love the way they fit. I love that they're very flat, but they still have a nice crisp shape. Got these on Amazon. Everything is linked below, of course as usual. Then I'm gonna cut into a coffin. For my acrylic, I'm gonna use this one. It's Ice Goddess from Secret Nail Affair. This was from their Christmas collection last year though. So I don't think it's still available. It's just this like white sparkly one. And then Young Nails Clear and Secret Nail Affair Monomer. Then because we are going to be taking such thin layers, I am going to just buff the tip in with my natural nail, a prey primer. I am putting these on to last for a couple days. I'll probably have to clip them off later this week, unfortunately, instead of just like peel them off. But I have a couple of things to do in the next couple of days and I don't think I'm gonna be filming again till later this week. So these are staying on. All right, are we ready? I feel like it's so weird. Like this feels strange. I'm gonna just try to do what they did. So they just like dip a little bit, get some excess off and just little beads. They just seem to kind of like smush it down instead of like laying the bead and then just kind of like forming it. They seem to like brush it on opposed to like push the bead around, if that makes sense. That's just what it looks like to me anyway. Oh my gosh, you know what? Let me set a timer and see how long this nail takes me. You know what? I'm gonna let it go for like, I don't know. How long have I been doing that? Like 30 seconds? We'll give it 30 seconds and then we'll start again and just see how long. And if I stop or anything, I'll pause it. But I just wanna know if this does take forever because I know that's what everyone in the comments was saying or they were gonna be like too thin. So we'll see. All right, put this back. Let's keep going. All right. It does seem like it is a bit hard to get a lot of liquid up in the brush. It gets dry really easily, but I mean, overall, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> like brushing, oopsie. I definitely dipped way too much in that one. 
<laughs> but overall, I mean, like, it's not as hard as I thought it was. It's actually, like, fairly easy. I didn't expect it to be, like, super hard, but if you are, like, super skilled with acrylic, this probably is a waste of time for you, but if you're not, it could be an alternative. I feel like instinctively I'm not wanting to just like brush it on like that, but okay, I need to just get a base on this. And I'm trying not to clog up the brush because I feel like that's going to be really easy to do with it this way. All right, there's that. It's all right, the shape is okay. Now I'm gonna pause my stopwatch so that I can show you guys what I'm gonna do. So just for why not, you know, who cares, whatever. I'm gonna put some of this on there because I don't know. I don't have a good reason to be honest. And I'm also gonna put some glitter because glitter will make the hair and the nail better, right? This one is from Dumb Blonde Glitter as usual. Stopwatch on again. And I'm gonna grab some clear, just a bunch of that. Ta-da. Why am I like this? I don't know. It might be because I'm working slow for sure, but just doing the method where you're like brushing it on a bit, I feel like my brush is clogging up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna pause my little stopwatch and I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna cut off any excess hairs that are like still lingering because if you cover it with stuff still sticking up or out, once you file it, there'll be like a little hole like into the acrylic essentially. All right, let's start again, just with our final layer. Okay, I think I'm gonna done. Now I'm gonna stop the timer. I'll definitely have to clean this up, <laughs> to say the least. So including all of my shenanigans, like, putting the hair in it and the glitter and just also being a bit chunky because I did all that. It was like 13 and a half minutes, which honestly is not that bad considering I'm also trying to talk and film and stuff like that. If I was just trying to do it as quick as possible, I could probably do it in about half. So that's definitely longer than acrylic normally is with a bigger brush, but I don't think it's that bad. I feel like if it works for you, then it works for you. Let's file this now. All right, are you guys ready to see this monstrosity? Woo, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, honestly. Like, the hair is questionable, but I feel like I had to. I feel like I couldn't just waste all of it. So let's just put some rhinestones or some charms or something on this. I don't really know a way to pull it together. So I'm just gonna put something on top. I always see people use these flowers and I love them, but I never end up just thinking to use them or I never end up incorporating them. So I'm gonna use them on this one because does it go? No, but that's okay. Let's get some little dabs of rhinestone glue on there. Aren't these pretty? I just always want to use them, but for some reason I just never do. Listen, I feel like I'm actually not incorporating this too badly. Then I'll just cure that really quick. Do you guys like what I did to my lamp? I, for a long time, I feel like I've gone back and forth on a lot of like how I like my things. I feel like when I got my own place, I wanted everything like white and gray and just kind of like sterile looking. And then over time, I've wanted to add like personality to things. I feel like sometimes when you get your own space, you wanna like feel in control of like how it looks. And I feel like that was me. But now that I've had my own place for, you know, quite some time, I feel like I like things to like have things that I like on them and that like bring me joy. So I decorated my little lamp with stickers and I love looking at it. I feel like it looks so cute. It just adds like a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of a sparkle to like doing my nails a little bit and using it. I put some stickers on my laptop. I like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when things are like expensive, I'm like, oh, no, I can't do that. But like, why not? Stickers are removable. It's not gonna hurt it. Like, I don't know, but I put some stickers on and now like, I feel like I smile whenever I like look at all the stickers on there when I'm doing my work. Now we got to put the little petal things in there. Okay, I'm gonna cure again. And now for a top coat.
And there you have it, a slightly unhinged nail done with a teeny tiny acrylic brush. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. I actually felt like it was a little bit easier to control where the acrylic went and it was less messy. The bulkiness was on me as usual as always because I like to add things in it, but it didn't end up too, too thick. And you know, the hair is there just cuz. But otherwise, I mean, I feel like it came out pretty good. If you cannot do acrylic to save your life because it gets everywhere or you're always like flooding your cuticles, maybe try a super teeny tiny brush and see how that works for you. Of course, I'm gonna keep this and I'll use it. I may use it when I start out my bead to do near my cuticle because that's definitely something I struggle with is like flooding my cuticle. Like I feel like I can do the rest of my nail fine, but just around the cuticle I'm not the best with. So I might do, you know, like around my cuticle with that and then a regular brush for everything else. All right, our next design is from ball pit nails that always has super great designs and it is this neon smoke nail which looks super cool and actually looks fairly easy to do and I got tagged in this one so many times and I've been dying to try it but I've been waiting for this video so I just want to get straight into doing it okay so for this one I'm actually going to do something a little bit different now I'm telling you guys right now I do not have the white ink that we need however I do have a couple of other colors I know that this will affect the outcome but I also have an idea to do something else with it because I just have a feeling that we don't absolutely need it and that we could make it work otherwise so I'm gonna follow her method but with maybe like the yellow I feel like that won't affect the neon colors too much underneath on my actual nail and then I'm going to do my DIY makeshift white ink for this nail just so we can see both ways and the result doesn't get too skewed. So we have to put my nail on first. Just put a base on really quick. Perfect. And then I'm gonna use a solid glue for this because this is a pretty high apex nail and I got a lot of height to fill in on this. Smush, smush, smush. Perfect. We'll cure that just for a sec so it doesn't move. And then we'll get that in my full lamp. All right, now we can do my nail and this one. So you wanna start off with just a plain black nail. So my current favorite black gel is the F gel one. It only needs a one coat. And I've personally never had it wrinkle on me. Good, I'll put that into cure while I do my nail. And then grab your favorite glossy top coat and apply a thin layer, but don't cure. So next we need to apply a top coat. I'm gonna use this one. This is very thin. And so I feel like it will be perfect for this. Next, grab some regular white gel polish and we're gonna make a big curvy line. You wanna do this in one fluid motion. Boop. And I'm gonna go back over parts that are a little bit sparse. Now we're gonna wait a few seconds for the polish to bloom out. Okay, then some white gel and I'm gonna turn it this way. <laughs> We've got some white gel and we're just gonna make a little swoop. Wait a few seconds and then cure it, she says. So wait a couple seconds on that and we'll add this top coat to my nail as well. And we'll do the same as well to mine and let it bloom out. Then we will do another thin white line down the center here as well. I feel like this one needs it. This one spread out a ton. Now we're gonna take a no wipe matte top coat and it's very important that it's no wipe. Otherwise this technique will not work. And you're gonna cure that for only 20 seconds, people. Matte non-wipe top coat. Then cure for 20 seconds only. Next, I'm gonna grab my white ink from Tino himself, and this product is the key to this technique. You will not be able to achieve it without this. Make sure you shake it up really well before you put it on. You're gonna have to play around with this ink to get used to it, but it's very important that you do it in extremely fluid motions. I like to trace around the line, but also do multiple layers. And then I think that I'm going to use this yellow. I feel like this is pretty light. It shouldn't affect the outcome too, too much. Obviously, of course, it would have been better if I had white. I thought I did, but it was these pastel ones. So yeah, I don't think this yellow will affect it too much in case it might just make everything a little bit more warm tone. That's okay. So let's do this on my nail. Do it this way. All right, so we're gonna 
something like that. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good and definitely not white, but this yellow was not too, too bright. And the pigments I'm gonna be using are also from Tino. Cause the quality, oh my God, they're like so buttery. You don't wanna be using chalky pigments because they really don't stick very well. So I would definitely recommend getting his if you don't have them already. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is gonna make a mess. That's just the nature of the beast with pigments. This is probably the easiest part. You literally just press them into the ink. They blend themselves. So you don't really need to worry about that. Now for our neon pigments. Always a mess. Okay, y'all ready? Let's start with the pink. Orange, yellow, green. I feel like it's impossible to not just pick up a ton of pigment every time. Blue. I feel like I tried to touch it with just like the tiniest bit, but it's still a lot. Purple. And then I'm gonna go in with the pink again. All right, let's see if I did anything here. Well, not, hmm. That definitely does not look right. I feel like it's not sticking to the ink for some reason or it is or isn't. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's sticking weird. Don't you guys think like on some parts it looks right. And then on others, it just definitely does not. Yeah. Cause on some of it, it looks okay. And then other parts it doesn't. Grab a cleanup brush with some alcohol and use it to wipe off any of the pigment that's still stuck to the black mat. So we want to be going in and cleaning up everything okay so that's kind of how it turned out again i don't have the exact same stuff i definitely was hoping that like any brand's ink would work maybe that's not the case i cured this one for even less time maybe i just needed it to stick more i'm not sure but this is where i'm gonna come up with my own thing for it so i figured that what i could try is getting some alcohol and just kind of rubbing it in one of these pigments just like a white pigment so i want to try that all right i'm just gonna get a little bit of alcohol here all of my other dishes are dirty all right <laughs> and then i'm basically just gonna like rub it in this and like kind of go back and forth a little bit to just dilute it and i want to try doing it with this that way and seeing if we can get a similar effect i know it's not going to be the exact same i feel like it sucks when there's like a design you want to do but you need all these specific products which i get it's totally gonna work the best with the like those specific products but if you're like me you can be impatient and be like i want to do that now you don't want to wait i don't know how for many business days to get in the inks and you know i feel like that doesn't look too bad it's a little thick up here for sure but i feel like that doesn't look too bad so this is dry now so i want to go back in and try these pigments again on this one it kind of looks like they're sticking a little bit better it could also totally have just been that i over cured it even though i did do just the 20 seconds so i could always you know go back and do that but i feel like it's kind of hard for me to quite fully understand how that would affect it that much with putting the ink over it i don't know it could also just be that the pigment in the one i used just isn't the same and doesn't grab onto things as well. All right. Hmm. Okay, I feel like this one kind of had similar results. Like I'm trying to figure out what it is sticking to and I almost think it is sticking to the ink, but I wasn't really putting much ink over the center because it didn't need it. So I'm gonna do something and it could be a mistake, but I'm gonna wipe both of these off and retry. I'm gonna go over the entire thing to make sure that we have this over all of it. That way it can Stick. All right, definitely does not look that good, but let's see if it sticks. I just want to see if it sticks at all. Not really. I'm going to do a layer of a different matte top coat. Okay, I cured for like 10 seconds, which is why it's still a little, uh, it's definitely a little shiny still. The problem also could be the pigments. Yeah, it's so weird. Cause look, if I like do that, it only sticks to some parts. That's so weird. Why is it doing that? <sighs> I feel like just it's not working for me today. However, she did it. I tried to follow this to a T aside from the exact products. So I feel like it's not like the colors aren't working. It just seems like, I don't know, I don't have those exact ones. So I'm gonna just do my best now to just make it look the same, maybe just not the same method. So blooming gel. I'm gonna try to just do a thin layer of that because I don't want a ton of spread. Also, I know I have pigment stuck all up in there. Hopefully when I wash my hands, that doesn't stain. Now I'm gonna do a matte top coat. <laughs> this is going to be a thick nail. I'm gonna cure for like 10, 15 seconds. And then I'm just going to basically just try to just get this to stick and look nice and I will worry about cleaning up anything afterwards, kinda. I feel like it looks like it is sticking better. All right, 
Let's see. Okay, it's definitely gonna stick to it, but I'm gonna have to just clean it up. Dang, I thought that this nail was gonna be my easy one of the day. Joke's on me. Update, it just kind of looked like a Candyland board. And I'm going to just revert to using this for the whole thing. <laughs> Because I don't know what else I could try today if I don't have those specific pigments and I don't have that specific ink I don't feel like there's much I can do. All right, so oh my gosh All right, there we are. I admit defeat. Top coat's going on and we're moving on. For our third design, I know that we just did a whole video on pre-made aquarium nail tips, but for some reason, the way that they did it in this video just sort of clicked something in my brain. I don't know why. I think it's with the acrylic and just the way they spaced it on the nail made it so much more manageable looking to me because I feel like Previously, when we've made aquarium nails, I'm always trying to get the whole thing fillable. And with this one, it's more of just that center and it looks so much easier to do. And I feel like the acrylic seals it in very well. And I don't know, I just saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, for some reason, this just looks so much easier. So I hope it is. And I have a lot of hope for this one that it's going to come out really good. So I'm stoked to do this. And hopefully I don't disappoint myself. Okay, so for this, we're gonna start with a tip. So I'm actually getting a little bit in the Halloween spirit. So I wanna do a Halloween nail for this one. So I'm going to put down a super thin layer of clear and then I'm gonna do black on the bottom. So I'll go in with my handy dandy teeny tiny brush for this, cause why not? So we'll get our tiny layer of clear down on my natural nail so it doesn't stain. And also we'll just like, you know, even everything out. Looks good to me. So now I'm gonna get out my black, which it's good we're doing a thin layer of this. because I always feel like I have such a hard time doing like a thick layer of black. I feel like some of them don't cure fully. I don't know. Black acrylic is always a little scary to me just cause also it's so messy, but I'm really trying to keep this layer thin because we're obviously going to be putting a whole nother tip on top. So I don't want it to be too bulky cause theirs looked so good and it didn't look too bulky at all. All right, here it is. So this is where I'm going to stop with the black. It is a thin layer, but like I said, we're gonna build it up with another tip and then like more acrylic. So for the tips, I'm gonna use the sculpted extra long coffin and I think that they will fit on here well. I'm not quite sure how far it's gonna be able to go up, but like that, that looks almost perfect. I think I'm gonna go with one smaller size just so it's not quite on the edge like that. Just like that, perfect, perfect, perfect. I really don't want anything inside of the tank part to stick. So instead of using gel initially, like on the inside to make it stick, I'm actually gonna just use some regular glue and I feel like this way I can just get it stuck in place because that's all I really want I just want it to stay in place for like a second so that I can seal in the outsides all right just like this and then now I'm gonna go in with clear on the sides to seal that in I let the glue dry don't worry and I have to do this part. I'm gonna go in with a regular brush for this part because I pretty much want like a single really dry bead for this to at least seal it up. I have absolutely no idea why this method just like suddenly made it click for me. I know I have to still be careful filing the sides and stuff like that, but I just feel like it's pretty sealed in. Like I'm pretty confident it is. And I feel like it was so much easier than a lot of what I've done before, especially gel. I feel like gel kind of makes everything harder because it's always sticking and stuff. And this is a little bit thick for sure, but I feel like it's not too, too bad considering it is going to be like an aquarium nail. So for our glitter, what I'm mainly wanting to use are these little hollow knives. And then I think I'm gonna use some red glitter, just like these like mini glitters and like a little bit of the chunkier ones in there, not the stars, but just the other ones of this in there to kind of make it look like, you know, like, and then if I need extra pizzazz, I have these, they're just like little slivers. I think these knives are gonna look really good, especially since it's on a black background. Okay, let's fill this. I know nothing is gonna stick in this because if I move my nail at all, all of these come flying out, which is a good sign actually. All right, let's see if I can shovel in some of this red now. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna try to keep this in frame as best I can, but I do have to prioritize closing and having it all be right today. Okay, I have my oil. 
I'm going to insert now. And then in one of my last videos where we did aquarium, you guys were saying less air bubbles. Less air bubbles makes it, oopsie, move a lot more. So I will try that. Cleaned it up pretty good, I think. Now I'm going to fill it. Again, I'm gonna try for like a super dry bead. I have not lifted it. Obviously we can't see very much because there's a little bit of acrylic over it and it's not going to be clear until I file and put a top coat, but are we ready to see if it works? I've let this dry, had my hand like straight up for like 10 minutes, just waiting, just making sure. So are we ready to see? I think it's gonna work. Update, I'm pretty sure I put way too many knives in there. I think because I accidentally kept flinging them out. <laughs> I feel like if they would break apart, that would be better. But okay, let's file it now. I can't wait to see. Okay, so here I have it. I wish I could file down a little bit more, but I started filing and like a little sliver of oil started to come up. So I'm scared to touch it. So I am going to just put a couple rhinestones and then just do that down here and down here like they did. I felt like that was cute. Probably do some red to kind of stick with the theme a bit. I've been loving using these little caviar beads recently. I feel like it really elevates the rhinestone looks. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna cure and then we can put on a top coat and finally see everything. Okay, let's add the top coat. Are you guys so excited? I am. I hope it looks good. I'm like, uh, hello, where's all the glitter? It's all at the top here. Okay, so even though I put too much stuff in there, it does in fact move. It does move slowly. You guys see that it moves. So previously I have tried a couple nail art pens per se, but I've never tried just regular acrylic paint pens on my nails. And from this video, it looks really easy to do with simple designs. And so I wanna try that out. It could end up being easier to do than gel. I don't know. I don't know if it would hold up over time, but I feel like with a good layer of gel over, I don't know why it wouldn't, but I got some paint pens. So let's try these out and see how they work. All right, I have my acrylic paint markers. Let's get into these. You know what though? I should probably actually put on a nail, huh? Put that on really quick. And I'm going to cut that down a little bit. And then we should probably put some sort of base on there. Let's do a white base just so we can really get the full vibrance of each color. And then I think I'm gonna put a matte top coat on. Actually, you know what? I will try it without a matte top coat. And then if that doesn't work like well, we can try it with one. I just figure, you know, don't add extra steps if you don't have to. Okay, well actually, you know what? I went to go cure my nail and I forgot that I actually prepped two tips with matte top coat on already so that we can do extra designs, not just like this one. So I have this one and this one. All right, so many colors. Hmm, what should we try first? Let's try this purple. We'll try it on the tip first. So these ones that I got specifically, they have a dotting side and then they also have a brush side. So that's cool. Let's try the dotting side. Well, that's a dot all right. <laughs> Looks good. Let's try the tip. Oh my gosh, I'm so shaky. You know what, but I will say it is going on very easily. I wonder if we could just do an entire nail with it. Nice, not bad. I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll see if we can draw over it. Is this a gold? It is a gold. Okay, so they wipe off easily too, which is good. And they dry fairly quickly. I was wanting to do a flower, but that gold and the black was just not it. That one seems pretty light, doesn't it? This one's supposed to be like hot pink. Those are cute. Look at how cute that one is. It's kind of hard to see. It would look a lot better on not like a white surface, but that's so cute. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna top coat it. I was curious how a whole nail with just that would feel and it feels good. It's like dry entirely. Let's see if we can write over this now. We can. Then let's see, is this silver or is this gray? It is silver. This design is a recreation of one of your guys's I did in a video, if you remember that one. I still love this design. Okay, so I feel like that worked really well. I'm gonna let these just like solidly dry and we can put a top coat on them. And then for this nail, like I had said, I am going to be wearing these nails for a little bit. The paint affects like how 
the top coat stays on and stuff, I'll let you know. I think on this nail, I'm gonna do like a little sticker nail, kind of like how I have my lamp, just kind of little random stuff. Let's see if it works not on the matte top coat, and it does. That's so nice and it's so even too, like it looks really good. Then if you make a mistake, you can just clean it up with alcohol pretty easily, I would say. I feel like some are a little bit more streaky than others, but I feel like the trick is doing it really lightly because the more pressure you put, the more it streaks. But overall, it's actually really easy, especially if you're doing this on like making some press-ons or doing it on a tip that's on a stand or something be so much easier even. While I let that dry, I'm going to top coat these two little test nails. I love how this one looks matte. It kind of just looks like watercolor-ish. So I'm gonna keep it matte. And then this is going to get a shiny. And it's not budging at all, neither with the matte or the glossy, which is nice. I feel like this is really cool. Although with a whole nail like this, it could definitely start peeling or chipping. But just with the accents or like little sticker designs like that, I feel like it probably works just fine. I guess we'll have to find out. I do have this one near the edge. So if it starts to peel up there, we will know. I don't normally do matte, so I'm gonna do matte for this nail. I feel like the colors do come alive a little bit with the top coat. All right, so here's my nail. It did bleed a tiny bit down there, but other than that, it stayed good. Our shiny top coat, all good. And then this matte top coat, also good. Well, I love that. I will definitely be using these in the future, especially for circular things. I feel like the dotting brush on these came in so helpful and I feel like will come in helpful for so many different designs. All right, lastly, this is a product mostly that we're trying out that I saw on a couple videos and it is this little silicone I want to say like stencil I'm not sh quite sure the right word for it and it's meant to be used with dual forms mostly so that you can make a perfect French tip and I love that that is such a good idea and it looks super easy to use and I feel like this is definitely a hack if this works well because this could save so much time. I'm sure these could be used on other things besides dual forms. Perhaps they could be used with like an airbrush and stuff like that as the stencil. I don't know. I haven't opened them yet so we'll just have to see how they feel and how much they stick and stuff like that. So let's try these out. The last nail I have to do is my pinky, so it may be a little tricky with just how small these are, but it looks like they are small enough to fit. I haven't opened these, so let's take a look. I think they are all mostly pretty similar. Some have a more pointy edge than others. I'm not sure if these are technically reusable or not. With how many it comes with, I would say technically no, but you could probably get away with it if you are careful. So I'm gonna get a dual form out. Try to size. Might be a little too big, about that. Hmm, it's gonna squeeze, okay. We'll do this one. All right, I customized it to my cuticle shape. Okay, so I'm gonna just peel this smallest one off. Okay, it's not very sticky. It has like a little bit, maybe? I feel like it's not very. Ooh, this is definitely gonna be a challenge with how small this one is. Oh, it does stay though once it's down there. Oh, okay, that's probably why it wasn't sticky. <laughs> Well, that side's not that sticky either. It's like the same on both. I was looking and I was like, is it supposed to be really sticky? I think it is kind of supposed to be sticky, but I'm not sure. I feel like I got it in a decent spot right here. So I'm gonna just let that be. And I'm gonna grab my poly gel. So today I think that I'm going to use for this one, Sweet Life Patty Gel. And we'll just get that little bit in there. I do want it to get down to like these little spots on the side. Then we don't want the sticker to be like cured in there. So we would peel this off now. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glitter, but I got it all covered both sides. So let's peel this off now. You know what? That actually worked pretty well. Like look at that. It's pretty perfect. Only just like a tiny touch up needed right here. But other than that, it's really good. Then I'm gonna use So Cute for the shade down here. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna, I don't have a base coat on. Okay, base coat now. Okay, now we can put it on. Okay, what do we think? Moment of truth. Gotta find an edge. Okay, let's get this 
off, gotta find an edge. Oh, nice. That's definitely a bit high up for sure. <laughs> that tool form's a little thin too, but I feel like the shape is all right. Definitely not perfect. Let me clean it all up really quick. Okay, all cleaned up. I do wish maybe I would use like a darker color, but from what I can pretty much see and you guys can see, I feel like up here the shape was nice, but it definitely did get lost a little bit on the edges. I think you just have to be more careful after you're like backfilling the gel. You could definitely also cure this gel after you take the form off. That way it doesn't move or anything like that, but that doesn't really stop you from like overlapping this gel with that gel. You just have to be like careful when you fill it and like when you put it on and it squeezes up, you know? I think that's really what happened. But overall, I will absolutely use those. I feel like that's gonna come in really handy. And I felt like they stuck fine. I feel like on bigger nails, they'll be even easier. I don't really think I'm gonna do much of anything on this nail though. I think I'm just gonna put a top coat on. It's so pretty. And there we have it. There are all of the nails. Quite a mix of stuff going on today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these TikTok nail art designs and hacks and stuff like that. As always, tag me in stuff you wanna see me try. I appreciate that. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you want me to do more of these and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.